the leopard, one of the most beautiful big cats in the world. This leopard couldn't hunt for a while, now face extreme starvation, looking for anything to eat. Finding a porcupine and approaching it with care, not knowing how dangerous porcupine is. He tries to check out with a paw and tries to bite the porcupine, but it's not an easy task. So instead, getting poked by quills around snouts and bodies. With pain, retrieve back for now. But starving for a long time, comes back and takes the pain, goes for the kill. But the problem is that all the quills poked through the jaw and bodies area and got infused. So Leopard is thinking about what to do. Porcupines cannot shoot them at predators, but the quills detach when touched. As a result, many predators stay away from a porcupine encounter with quills protruding from their snouts or bodies. The leopard tries any way he can to take out the quills, but it's not an easy task. Porcupine quills have microscopic barbs at their tips which facilitate skin penetration, but hampering their removal. It took a lot of pain and thinking to kill the porcupine to quench the hunger, which never would attack in the first place if there was no starvation. Once the quills are in tissue, the tiny backward-facing deplorable barbs at the ends cause trauma if anyone tries to remove them. The quills of porcupines are so pointed and can poke any animal or human. Just like here, when humans get poked by the porcupine, we can use hands to pull them out, even though it's so painful. While they try to struggle to do something, those quills will go in deeper into the body. Animals don't have any way to pull them out. But despite the pain, the leopard needs to fill his stomach and think about how he will eat the porcupine. A few days later, leopard was found dead from the porcupine's quills which gave the leopard infection and starved to death. It's a tragic end for both. Leopard and the porcupine should never have met each other.